What's a, What was the hardest thing that you guys had to leave behind when you chased this dream? Everything. I mean, I, I left the farm in Virginia. No, I'd never really been out of the state at that point in time in my life. That was everything. You know, my, my was the one of um, four siblings that had stayed in my hometown and was helping my father with the farm and, and taking care of all that. And um, it was that was a big, big, big deal. And I'll never forget telling my, you know, it was my grandma's birthday. I was, I was there. We were walking around the farm. Pop puts his hand up on my shoulder and says, you know, son, uh, you know, I'm not as young as I once was. I'm ready for you to take this farm over anytime you want, you know, and, and, and be the future. And I said, Pop, you know, I love this place more than anything, and I'll, I'll do whatever it takes to keep it all rocking, but i kind of been thinking I want it to go down to Nashville and just see what it, what it might be like down there. And I'll never forget him. Then he pat me on the back and says, Oh, son, you take off and try that. I'll keep this place going. Don't you worry about it. It'll wow. always be here. That's a good So he was just, a, you know, just as, as beautiful Ooh, a, that's a, 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 a man as you, yeah. you could think of. And actually, this is the first Christmas we'll celebrate without him being here. Wow. So uh, when you ask about what, what's the family's going to do, um, me and my siblings, we all got together there on the farm uh, this past week to celebrate Thanksgiving because one of the most important things to my parents was just to make sure that we all got together, just mm -hmm. that we, we, you know, we took those moments and those opportunities that we had, like holidays, to all get together and just enjoy what family's all about and slap each other on the back about whatever's going on in our lives and, and uh, you know, keep that, that positivity going. So, you know, God bless Pops and, and my mother, and we're going to have ourselves a Merry Christmas this year, no matter and we're going to be thinking about you and celebrating. Good, nice. Kenny. Well, so when I when I tore off into music, I was uh, I landed a job at Opryland USA, which used to be here in Nashville, yes. which is where Opry Mills Mall is now. I wish we still had Opryland, but uh, I auditioned for that uh, park on a show there when I was seventeen. I was a senior in high school, and I got the call back, and they said, "All right, we want you to work this next summer at Country Music USA at Opryland." I went, "Okay, this is it. I'm in." Well, I already lined up. I had a couple of universities that wanted me to come there, and and uh, my, Wait a my second. parents you never told me. Oh, you I know. University <laughs> one. You gone to college. I had two of them. <laughs> two of them. Yeah. Whoa. Out of the whole country. Yeah. Two, two of them. Out of the whole country. <laughs> well, eighth grade was the longest four years yeah. of my life. Yeah. One was the bartending so, university. But but I but I, I did have a route I could go to school, you know, and and pretty much have it paid for. So my parents were excited about that, until I told them, hey. I got this job. They said, well, that's great. You can work at Opryland this summer, and then you'll start school in the fall. And I went, yeah, no, I met this guy at Opryland, and he's starting a band. He wants to call it Lone Star or call it Texas Sea at that point. We're all from Texas. So I think I'm going to go with those guys, and we're going to go play Holiday Inn lounges all around the United States <laughs> in a Jeep Cherokee pulling a U-Haul trailer. The dream. There you go. That's College the will dream. still be there. What did your mom, that's such <laughs> a mom My mother like said, she said, don't you think you should probably have something to fall back on? I said, I don't plan on falling back. Aww. And she went, well, and kind of gave you that look. So there was a lot of, you are really making a bad call here, dude. This is not going to work out well. But, you know, for me, my whole goal at that point was, how do I get on the Grand Ole Opry? I just want to play the Grand Ole Opry. If, if I play the Grand Ole Opry, that's it. I mean, you have hit the top of Mount Everest of country music, which I still think that when you play how the Grand Ole Opry. How many times have you played it now? A lot. Yeah. But we played the grant. We got a record deal, and Lone Star took off. And then after that, I meet Big Kenny and Gretchen and Cowboy Troy and all this. And now we're here talking to you guys. So, you know, I think the point to the California is it's worth the risk. Mm -hmm. Take the risk. Get in your car. Go do what it is that's your wildest dream. And at least hunt it down and see if you can make it happen.